My name is Raisa L. I was born in Ukraine, Russia. City name Nikolaev. I was born in July 25th in 1910. Well, my mother's name was Shishman, and my father's name was Yurga, and we live in city Nikolaev. My brother was named Alex. He was a wonderful person, Alex Yurga. My sister's name is Tamara, last name Lance. My sister was the youngest one. There was a great big shoe store, and my father was manager there. But uh, time changed, and suddenly the owner of the store, people came and took him and dumped him in the ocean, and we never see him again. We live in Nikolaev, but then my father worked for defense, so he don't have to go to service to army. So we moved to Moscow and we lived there more than a year. I was maybe 10 or 11 years old. And everybody had to go outside that time to watch the parade. We saw Tsar Nicholas and uh, Tsarevich, the young boy, we saw all of them traveling. And uh, three sisters was there riding with them. A lot of people go. My mother fainted, so we pulled her to the side till she came back, you know. I don't remember much about the war, but they used to fight one party against another party. One party was one side street, another party, another side street. They tried to reach that city. They were fighting, everybody was going in the basement, stay in the basement so they wouldn't, the bullets wouldn't shoot them. And then they sent soldiers, and they occupy your house and kick you out from the house. They sent me in one kitchen, maybe 10 soldiers, in another room, another 20 soldiers. And it was so cold and hungry. No heater in the house, winter time. People freeze to death. And then the Bolsheviks, they break the gate, get in, and they call all the men and start shooting them. They call the Jewish people and they shoot them one by one. During revolution, you cannot buy bread. We stay all night and all day in line till you get pound of bread. And then I helped my father. When the time came, I changed his time. And my time came, I got that pound of bread and I was going home. And then lady, lady attacked me, grabbed my bread and ran away. And I didn't have nothing left. It was starvation. You cannot find cats, you cannot find dogs, people eat them. After a while, we didn't hear where my aunt was. And then we start to get letter from China that she ended up in China with her husband. 
For a while we lost her. We didn't know where she was. They ran away from revolution. And she said, leave everything and come to China. You will enjoy life here. And that's what my father did. We left everything. We used to have six units. The people came from Russia. They said it's still there. And if you want, they said you can get it back. But who wants it? I was about 12 years when I came to China. We traveled by the train, whole family, about whole months. And then we came to China. That's in Harbin, Harbin, China, yeah. My father borrowed money to start the business. That was like variety store. We have everything from the bottom to the top. We have manufacturing, we have shoes, perfume, clothes, anything you name it, we have at the store. I work there, my sister work there, my brother work there. Sometimes he run away, play football. <laughs> but we all work there. In Harbin, they have Russian stores. Russian restaurants, anything like people used to live in Russia. Well, I graduated Russian high school. Then I went to dental college, and I graduated dental college. Then I worked my own office, dental office, and part-time I work for the friend. Part-time I work in dental office. When I graduated dental college, part-time I work at dental office, and she have a brother who live in United States. So she wrote a letter, Jack, you better hurry, come, come back so you can marry this nice girl. So in a month he came back to China and we married. to United States in June 1937. Well, we traveled on the boat. The name was Chichi Umaru. We were whole months on the boat. My husband, Jack, and my boy, Michael. Michael was only a few months old. We came straight to Los Angeles and live here in Los Angeles. I couldn't believe it. It was winter time, but kids was running barefooted. It was such a nice, warm, beautiful climate. I wrote to my family about that. They all want to come to the United States. So gradually, I brought most of my family to the United States to be with me. Well, it was depression time, hard to find job. Jack, he worked part-time at veteran hospital in the kitchen. And then he find gasoline station and he rented that gasoline station and he worked there. In case he have to go someplace, I come with my baby and put gasoline for some people who wants to buy gas. I helped my brother to open variety store, the IM store, in 2660 West Pico. Then we opened another store on Valencia Street. We used to go 
to Ambassador Hotel, swimming. My sister lived just about one and a half block away from Ambassador Hotel. So we pay 30, 40 cents to go over there to swim. Well, I like the ocean. I like to be in the ocean. I used to swim in the ocean. Yeah, then my mother used to go. My brother used to go to the ocean. We all like ocean. I want to be a volunteer for a while, veteran hospital. They want me to be permanent working to get paid. So I decided to do that. I worked there for 12 years. Then I got a heart attack, and the doctor told me I shouldn't work no more. When my son married, he lived in Pasadena, and he was very active in Pasadena. He was very important man here for Rose Parade. Nice looking young man. I used to love to come to Pasadena because my family, my son, my grandchildren used to live here and we used to have a wonderful time, picnics and then big party outdoors. I used to love to do that. Well, then because my son used to live here and he told us, Mom, you better come to Pasadena in case you need help. We will help you. So we moved to Pasadena and we have found nice place. And now we still stay here. When it was Rose Parade, I always get up outside and watch big parade, Rose Parade. And then my grandchildren come to my place. I try to give them breakfast. In July 25th, I was 101 years old, but I don't feel my age. I love to eat. I have always nice breakfast, and uh, I like sweet stuff too. I'm sorry to tell you, but I like chocolate and nuts. Well, I eat everything. I don't have no diet. Well, I moved to Pasadena, and I want to tell happy birthday, Pasadena. Очі чорні, очі ж гучі, ви прекрасні і могучі. Как люблю я вас, как боюсь я вас, знать не в добрый час я увидел вас, не встречал бы вас, не страдал бы так, так и прожил жизнь, пропиваючи. Вы искупили меня, очи черные, вы прекрасные и могучие.